Hey, what's going on out there, fishing fam? Ray Sharifi here with the Dirty Hookers, and today I'm coming back at you with another update tackle rundown video. That way, you're a little bit more prepared if you're coming out anytime soon, hopefully enhance your chance at catching one of these fish. So this past trip was a little bit slower. The bluefin bites is starting to slow down, and it seems like we were out there on the first day that it finally wanted to slow down. That just happens to be bluefin fishing. But it also just means you wanna be a little bit more prepared for whatever we come in contact with while we're on the water. From bluefin in the day or the night to open water and kelp paddy schools of Yellowtail and open water schools of Benito. And we're gonna talk about all of that here in this video right now. Even though the bluefin fishing is starting to kind of slow down, it changes day by day. There's still bluefin to be caught. They're still out there. We're seeing most of the biting fish during the nighttime, so it's very essential to be out there and be rigged and ready to fish these knife jigs during the night. We were able to get one bluefin in the first night that was about 20-ish, 30 pounds. And on the second night, because it was a day and a half, our good fellow friend Jamie was on board with us and he was able to stick a 211 pound bluefin tuna. using the same jig as this. this is the Richwind 350 gram knife jig all red with red and glow stripes on it for whatever reason these more red colors are triggering most of these bites during the night bite something like this one sriracha red and orange with some glow polka dots on it on the other side is all red and orange all orange even reds with yellows or orange and yellows for whatever reason, these more like yellow to reddish colors are triggering more of these bites during the night. And we're gonna be fishing these on 100 pound test. We're, we're recommending minimum 80 pound line. There are a lot of really big fish around. Jamie landed that 211. We also hooked another really big one as well in the same night. It took a lot of the line off the reel and then ended up just pulling the hook. You wanna be prepared for these really big fish. We're recommending minimum 80 pound test all the way up to 200 pound leader if you wanna use that. 80 to 100 pound main line is what we're recommending for for fishing these knife bites because you can be hooking anything from 20 pounds to 200 pounds and the last thing you want is to be under gunned if you hook one of these triple digit fish you never really know what's going to bite when it comes to bluefin fishing but during the day if you want to fish like colt snipers or smaller flat fall style jig that is when we're going to be fishing 40 and 50 pound tests there was a little bit of confusion on this last trip saying that it was recommended to bring 50 pound for jigs you are recommended to bring 50 pound for jigs, but that's gonna be daytime fishing. Nighttime fishing, we're recommending 80 to 100 pound test. And for the daytime fishing, we're recommending jigs anywhere from 80 grams up to 120 grams. Personally, again, like I said in the last one, I really like the Katy Perry color when it comes to daytime fishing, but I'll also get realistic sometimes. So if I go a little bit more realistic, I like something like sardine colored. I either like really realistic or I like bright, shiny, and flashy. Also during the daytime, we are coming up on a lot of kelp paddy fish and open water schools of Benito and Yellowtail. So for that, I would recommend that you have two live bait setups. I would have one fly line setup rigged up with a size two circle hook, um, just in case we come into a school of bluefin during the day. The circle hook for the bluefin is specifically because it comes in full circle and it's a little bit more offset. It's gonna help that hook get right there in the corner of the mouth. That's gonna eliminate the chance of the line rubbing in the, in the tuna's teeth and cutting you off. So we're recommending circle hooks for the bluefin fishing. And if we come into a school of yellowtail or bonito, I would recommend a two watt live bait J hook. These hook the yellowtail's mouth a lot better. This is just a basic must add two watt live bait hook. So basic J hook for yellowtail fishing, whether it's an open water school or a kelp paddy, this is what I would be throwing at the yellowtail. And for bluefin and even bonito, bonito you can do J hook or circle hook. But for bluefin, we're recommending the size two Mutu circle hooks. And we're fishing those fly line setups on 25 to 30 pound test. Even though we're fishing up to 30 pound test, you still have a chance at hooking one of these 60 pound fish during the day. So just make sure your drag's perfectly tensioned. If you guys are ever worried about how your drag feels, feel free to come to us. We'll help you out. We'll help your drag get dialed in. But 25 pound to 30 pound test is what we're recommending for the fly line fishing during the day. And then the last tactic for daytime fishing, we're recommending you bring a 50 pound or 80 pound sinker rig setup. But for sinker rig fishing, I personally like 50 pound, especially for majority of these daytime fish being anywhere from 30 pounds up to 60 pounds. 
this will be just fine. 50 pound will be just fine, but if you get into some of those bigger fish, it might not hurt to have an 80 pound setup. Just cut off that knife jig, set it up as a sinker rig. It might not hurt to have that just in case we come into a school of bigger ones that are down deep. And for that, we're recommending a one knot or two aught live bait circle hook. And with those sinker rigs, we're recommending size four ounce, five ounce, or six ounce sinkers to go along with it for these rubber band sinker rigs. I personally like five ounce. It's a little bit of that sweet spot, a little bit more universal, but if that current's really ripping, we're recommending six ounce, even up to eight ounce if it's really, really ripping. But four ounce to six ounce is primarily what we're recommending for the sinker rig fishing. I think that covers about everything that we're coming in contact right now. Again, the bluefin fishing, it's been slow for about a week, but there is still plenty of fish to be caught and you want to be rigged and ready for everything that we come in contact with. So just to go back over all that 80 to 100 pound knife jig setup, two fly line setups if you are able to do it, two fly line setups. If you can only do one, then do the circle hook and just let that yellowtail really, really swallow that bait. Let him eat it for a long time. But two fly line setups, 25 to 30 pound if you can. One daytime jig setup on 50 pound and a sinker rig setup. Those are the five rods that I would personally bring out if I were to go out on a trip right now. We do have a 1.5 day leaving tomorrow. That's with our buddy Hayden. He's doing a charter with us on the Highliner and they're going out on a 1.5 day doing the exact same style of fishing, bluefin, yellowtail, bonito, whatever wants to come in contact and present itself, that's what they're going after. Best of luck to all you guys and to anyone else that's going out this weekend as well. Best of luck to each and every one of you guys. I hope this helps you out. I hope this gets you a little bit more prepared for what to expect out there. I'm gonna do my best to keep these coming and keep on doing a weekly update for you guys. I may not be able to get enough footage for you all that much, but I will be doing my best to get a weekly update so that you're better prepared for what to expect when you're out on the water. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any other recommendations on what you wanna see in this channel in a future video, please let me know in the comments down below. And I think that's gonna do it. Please give this video a nice big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next time and or out on the water aboard the Highliner.